Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, for once I'm recording this in the evening at my house. Which is rare. Usually I'm recording like first thing in the morning. <gasps> the golden feather. The glorious golden feather said to have been woven into Oxide Shield carried by towering Ajax, son of Telamon. One tale says it was plucked from the body of Zeus while he was in the form of an eagle. But who knows? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I've been blessed by Zeus or something. With my bird. Even though actually my bird is technically like super old, I guess. Well, I don't know. No. Don't even bother. Okay, they're like okay, but no. Warrior damage, damage on animals, damage on Spartan soldiers. Cool. Oh, still more. A new spear, which is cool. I should probably get this one. It is Ajax's spear, which is pretty cool. Fire damage built into it already. Is it... It is better than... Hang on. Let's see. Do this properly. Assassin damage, crit damage, poison damage. Bah! I prefer the assassin damage, honestly. For now. We did get a new belt skirt thing. Ooh, assassin damage and hunter damage. Nice. And it's the same kind. Same style. Headshot damage. Melee resistance. Chance to ignore half damage. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Level 30, we're growing up. What does this cost? What does it cost? Ah! That's right, it costs actual money to do these. I don't know. I, I'd like to make a, a, a get up specific for certain situations, but I probably have to do that off screen and just show you guys. I like this idea a lot. I like being able to do that kind of thing where you have different different loadouts for different situations. I think I mentioned before that I liked um, the way, I, I liked basically the way Andromeda did it. I just wish there hadn't been a cooldown thingamajig going on. I didn't really like that. Mm. Was that... Was there anything else she wanted? I feel like there was other things she wanted me to do, but maybe I'm wrong. She's... Did I track it? I didn't track it. I was like, where is she? It should still show up at... No! As a check mark on the map, I believe, but... Where is she at? She was on one of these islands. Ah! She's hidden. Come on. That's right. She has the perfect tra fast travel point. You just hop on over. So, when I last left off with Kyla, Kayla, uh, Kyra, Kyra, like, we left off at a bad moment. I don't know if I can go back and chat with her or what, but... Like, that was a bad, bad. It was just like she needed time. And I was like, I get it. I get it. And then nothing happened. Like, nothing... Like, time has passed. And if they don't resolve that, I'll be a little bit upset. I do feel like some of these quests are kind of left open-ended sometimes. I don't know. I like it. I love the game. But, I don't know... It's just the setting differences and like, the slight combat changes and origins that I liked better, but I think I also was just a little more interested in doing the quest. Maybe it's because it was such a different world. Like, Greece is like kind of bread and butter if you grew up in the West, right? Egypt is like really cool and unique, though. You return on the wind. Do you have Ajax's golden feather for me? Oh, oh okay. Here. One golden eagle feather, I request. 
Oh, what a pretty, pretty thing. Glad you're happy. Now, my pay. Calm yourself. Here. For your trouble. Thanks. Uh, what? That was like the heart option was to ask for money? You flew like the west wind in retrieving my golden feather. Now, fetch me another rarity. Sure. I'm up for whatever challenge you have in mind. A wealthy noble from Macedonia is visiting various sanctuaries throughout the Aegean, looking for the most sacred to make a great offering. Oh. What would he offer the gods? And why? The why is unimportant. Perhaps he asks the gods <laughs> to make his drachmi multiply, or to harden his cock. <laughs> But the offering <laughs> is said to be I'm glad she a crafted <laughs> golden bracelet, as beautiful as Aphrodite, with workmanship to rival that of Ephaestus. <gasps> it would look better on my wrist than on an altar. She wants to steal from the gods? So how far do I have to travel Risky. to find these sacred sites? I had one of my royal crew, Anaximandros, draw several maps to show you the oh, locations. Oh, boy. He's clever with a stylus. <laughs> He's clever with a stylus. Any guards at these holy sites? Probably not, though I suppose you risk offending the gods and earning their enmity for all time. If you take stock in that sort of thing. Do you not? <laughs> wow, her mouth, did, her face did something weird. Good enough for now. I'll keep an eye out for the bracelet you want. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go talk. To, oh, I look so good. I'm gonna go talk to my mom, actually. Maybe? Uh, I feel like that's like... Uh, that's gonna be a lot of stuff to deal with. Let's see. Mm, nope. Oh, that's my picture that I think I took on accident. No, I took that on purpose. I do remember that. I don't want that. Okay, well, apparently she doesn't want to speak to me ever again, I guess. Which is a little weird, but you know what? If things have gotta end, I guess they gotta end. What is this... Heart of Stone all about? This is the island... What island am I currently on? This one? I keep thinking... Oh, so he's, okay, of all the islands. I was like, I swear he's the same guy on this island, but it's because he's from all of them. Oh, man, I took down so many things, and now not anymore. I think it must regenerate over time. Anyway, we're gonna go talk to our mom. We're gonna do it. Let's just go. Home sweet home we go. No time for the ladies. No time for the men. Time to go home, which is probably very far away. Wait, whoa, yeah, okay, we're gonna be, this is gonna be a trip. This is gonna be a trip. Through waters that I'm maybe not good enough to be in? Yeah, question mark. Maybe I'll go to a blacksmith really quick and sell some things and see if I can buy some firewood. I think I needed tablets more than anything else, though. I bet you I can't find tablets at a shop. Maybe I can. Sun's age 7 to 29. Although I did see another one that said if a Spartan man wasn't married between the age of 25 and 35, then he would be, like, penalized, basically. Oh, their, their marriage stuff was weird. For the most part, they just wanted them to get married so they'd have babies with women and then they would pair them up with each other, like this, like an older soldier with a younger soldier, to increase uh, squad loyalty. So like they were supposed to be like romantic, not supposed, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but they were encouraged to be romantically involved with each other because it encouraged squad loyalty and made it so you were less likely to abandon your uh, fellow soldiers when the going got rough, you know? I'm curious what this is. 
stuff. I'm sure I could teach you. Shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. Looks like it's very dramatic. It looks very dramatic. Where's the dock? I'll come back someday, maybe never, but maybe you never know. Modern places did stuff like this with cool like blankets and stuff. Everyone was like, "Oh, first world country it looks so great." Like, our design sense sucks. <laughs> we have big blocky buildings. And, oh, sleek skyscrapers like pfft, boring, boring. Where's my colorful banners and all kinds of cool canopies and stuff? I guess it kind of it does depend on the environment you're in. To be honest, a lot of the ar architecture stems. In any area, any any area. Ready to set train. Ready when you are. Come on. Stems from the environment from which the people have to live. So I can I can only blame them so much. But then again, like we're like supposedly we're like modern, so we should be able to do cool things now that we're not like as much restricted. Maybe I'm just speaking speaking crap. I guess if you're still in a cold place, you really don't want to build like fancy open air buildings. You can only use two months out of the year, right? Poor Canada. Uh, poor one out for Canada. Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Githion? Is that in Sparta's? I wasn't really looking. That, that over there looks like the giant steps in Ireland. This is a volcanically active area, so. Oh, whoa, that was scary. Why are you doing that to me, game? Oh, is there there's a dock is over there? I'm a little nervous that these ships might be angry with me. I mean, no harm. Hang on, let me check. I do wish there was an easier way to access the map when you're sailing. Not just going into here. Oh, Hydria. Mm, yep, we gotta go all the way around. When can I go to Lesbos? I wanna go south. Although I do have to keep an eye out for underwater things, but there doesn't appear to be anything here. Boring. Why? Let me find underwater ruins. Wish you could, like, uh... What did I just get XP for? I didn't do anything. I wish you could like, you know how you can get your horse to follow the road to the target? Kinda wish you could do that with a mirror ship. But, alas. Okay, yep, heading boom south. All the way around this tiny little peninsula. And now I've run out of filler. That debris could be useful. So, oh, I forgot to go to a blacksmith. I'm dumb. It's fine. If this is like Sparta stuff, why is there an Athenian ship out here? Are you a scout? Am I like Discovery? Oh, it must be because I'm unlocking new, kind of new chunks of ocean map on my map. They're not necessarily named, but it's like a new area. Essentially, that I've opened up on the map. That that is the, the fog of war has been cleared from. Ooh, that's something. It's got a question mark. Interesting. You need to be careful in these waters, Commander. I know. Is that a little hut on the little island? Oh boy. We can do it, game. Ah ah.
too, and I missed one. Please don't catch me, please don't catch me, please don't catch me, please don't catch me. I will literally pee my pants. I will literally pee my pants, oh my gosh. Ooh. I hate that. Where's the second one? There's the ruins. Was this about a second feather location? I'm in an area where I can't use anything. Oh my gosh. I should have leveled up some more. Oh! I mean, this looks like the little island that I'm near. I mean, this is, uh, this is not helpful. They're really not helpful, my guy. You who is talented with the stylus. Or was this something that it was like a rumored area of the feather? Like this was an area that if I had like checked the map, it would have been like, th this was one of the options. I think it is, because there was one of the maps that I had that was showed something being off the coast, essentially, like kind of in the middle of the ocean, sort of. But... Whoa. Ah, it's a wide area. Oh, wait. No, where's the stuff? Crap. There it is. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna get on the ship. No. Staying on the ship. selected but not oh boy these are really extensive ruins did they like sink or did the sea level rise I have oh, okay, it's way down there. Jeez, I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to make it back up. <gasps> Whoa! A golden legendary ship thing, ship skin. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I finally got one! I knew it would be worth it. Oh, it's going faster before the sharks find us. And then they didn't- the sharks didn't even see me. I think. Unless one pops up behind me and eats me, in which case I'll cry. But we finally are gonna have a legendary skin for the ship! I'm so excited! The Hounds of Hades. What a good one, too. Oh man, now I want to get a theme, like a Hades theme. There is one in uh, in this store, but uh, heck, if I'm gonna do that one, it's over. This is very over the top. 
Oh yeah, Cerberus was the multi mythical multi-headed dog that guarded the gates of the underworld, preventing the dead souls from turning the world into living. Let's see. Oh, cool. I don't like the look of that storm. Are we gonna have the storm? <gasps> Holy cow, our ship looks so nice. Like the colors are so much brighter now. Could we actually have an issue with the storm? Because that would be cool, actually. In Assassin's Creed 4, you did. You would have to watch out for like rogue waves and stuff like that. There's some little ruins, but yeah, I wonder if those ruins like either sunk because of earthquake activity, or if they like have been built there, but then the water level rose or something. You must have an anchor on. You look troubled, Cassandra. He's bang, dude. I'm really up somehow. A bird can fly away for seasons, but will always recognize its nest when it returns. This is Sparta. I don't think I'm welcome here. I'm not sure of much, Cassandra, but I do know that when the time is right, we always get to go home. And where is your home, Barnabas? I'll save that story for another day. Okay, keep your secrets. I'm trying to... Lower the oars! Ready the ship for docking! Village of Gipion. Okay. Well, my ship looks all nice. I returned home with a beautiful... With a bunch of beautiful Spartans singing me home in a beautiful, bright red and blue ship. Holy cow. It looked really, really good. Lacon, Valley of Warriors. Everybody here is Spartan. I remember in one of my flashbacks I saw I was on a beach and I got in to a boat and floated away. Cassandra! Cassandra! Yes, Mom, I'm a little nervous. I feel like she's in great danger. We're both in great danger being here, honestly, I feel like. Lam, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable. Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? Mm. He told me a lot of things. Icarus was once his. The doors to Atlantis need to be sealed, and something about mind-controlling artifacts? I, I think I left with more questions than answers. Yes. He tends to have that effect on people. When you and he... <laughs> well, well, did you know he was over a hundred years old? <laughs> he looked young for his age. At least he was attractive. We'd stand on Spartan Maybe. soil together again. I don't know how to feel. I spent some of the happiest days of my life here. And some of the worst, too. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the puppet king if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left. But now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. Okay. Wow, you are a fast runner. I hope I age as well as Marini. Like, I love that there's age. Like, you can definitely see the lines on her face and stuff like that. Like, she looks aged, but she still is like this beautiful, strong woman. Yeah. And I like that. It's nice to see, you know that old ladies don't necessarily get all like, I don't know, guys, I, I feel like in society, guys tend to, like at least society views guys as aging better than women. They get dignified and gentleman looking whereas well, like women just get like old and wrinkly, you know? It's not really fair. We can age well too. So it's always nice to see. I feel like you should, uh, wh where are we going if we're not going to hang out? At home. What? Why are you? Uh, 
don't actually know what's going on right now. Okay, you, you I can fight. Oh, no, 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 none of that now. Oh, none of that, none of that, none of that. I saw that. Spartan warriors, but he's kind of like bandity more than Spartan. Yeah, see, here's this Spartan. And and then wolves. Yeah, yeah, it must be like a weird cult. Like some sort of like a uh, lupine cult. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Naxos, yeah. I could forget. It was as if I had locked very quiet. Did you put your memories of us in that box? I don't blame her. I mean, right? Like, she lost her children. It's like, what's... Not what's the point of dwelling, but at a point you can try to be harsh yeah. with yourself, right? I mean, like, what's the point of dwelling? They're already gone. I can't change it. Let's put them in a box. But you never... I don't, I don't know. It's, it, you can put the past behind you, but like, uh, there's a point. Or maybe she just had this like weird, vague sense of hope, or like she couldn't let it go because for a reason, you know? I don't know. I'm making it up. I'm guessing. This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> You remembered. How do you think I got this far? Yeah. We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Cerberus, Those huh? children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait. You mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. The Agogi is what turns boys into men. Interfering would only weaken them, weaken Sparta. They're no good to Sparta if we leave them to die. And they're no good to Sparta if they're too weak to kill a wolf. Come, let's go home. Interesting. I mean, yeah, this is... And it's just interesting to me that Marini is that harsh about it, I guess. But I don't think those kids... Like, if I saved them, they wouldn't appreciate it either. You know, they'd only be ostracized. Besides, I don't think they're actually dying. I don't think the wolves are killing them. They're just, like... Like, they're doing kind of what Marini does when they when Marini passes out, sort of, or, like, nails down when she's too low, when she's wounded in a fight. So, unfortunately, they're just, just going at it over and over again. This sucks. <laughs> But no, I make as a Spartan woman, like this is what this is what she knows. This is what Marini understands, but that training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Lagonia. <laughs> Most of its citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work in fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them dead. Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians and now from the Athenians. They get their place. The great deal are ordered to keep them in peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. 
never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. I didn't think they were much on architecture. So peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. Most, not all. Yeah. No, but what she was saying, yeah, I, I, from what I remember, uh, they were no good at farming, no good at agriculture or anything, so they had slaves, essentially, that did, did all that work for them, while they focused exclusively on war. It's the only way you can have a truly militaristic society is if you have slaves or an underclass or something willing to do all the rest of the labor, you know? That's the only way it works. That's the only reason Spartan was able to be so militaristic. This is our house. This was the first and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaos was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. I think he was, he's a complicated man. He's not just a cool man. You could call him a cool man, but I think, I don't know. I feel like Nikolaus is a lot more complicated because I think, I think my little brother is his child, like his biological child, and I'm the adopted daughter essentially, but he loved me as much as he loved any child of his own, you know? And so I can't, I don't know, but then, Sparta is so strict in like the rules like he couldn't he just couldn't go against them at the time like he couldn't do it not even for family because Sparta was like one giant unit like you didn't I don't know I don't know and he had I, he was a soldier he was a soldier at the end of the day you know not a father I mean he was a father but a soldier first but I think that really did mess with him later on down the line I don't know I'm just kind of making guesses and stuff like that, but like educated guesses. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day, but for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, mm -hmm. I thought you would squeeze the life out That's... of him. Hello. He turned out stronger than I thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. I was actually just wondering where this guy was, and I didn't say it. <laughs> Dang it! I was thinking as I was starting the episode, I'm like, what happened to that really handsome Spartan guy? Good to see you, Brasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Brasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Brasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the oh, war. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad. I broke <laughs> his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons ah! to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens. That's true. But they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, They'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Okay, sounds easy enough. <laughs> Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. 
We've walked in on a complicated plot. I bet you the, some of the kings are behind it. And and, and they're just trying to cause strife because it's the cult. It's the cult's fault. So, I find the soldiers. Then what? I murder them. Spartans em. are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Elotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. <laughs> the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. Am I gonna have an opportunity, I wonder, to, like, protest the treatment of slaves or something? I'm surprised she doesn't remember the Elots. Even that she wasn't that young when she left, you know? She, I, I would think she would not forget staples of Spartan culture. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. That sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. Why are you in and the where throne room? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. Okay. I'll try. So, Grandpa? Is it Grandpa? I do not know. I don't remember that name. I should, but I don't. All these things. It's a wooden sword, but it's level 33. Can't use any of this. I'll just have to level up quickly then. Where are we at? Pfft, halfway to level 31. We're doing great. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. This was interesting stuff, though. Like, I'm very excited uh, for where this is going. Like, we're back in the homeland. I actually, I mean, I, I knew we were gonna get there eventually, but it kind of is still kind of unreal. It's like, oh my gosh, we're back in actual Sparta. And I could have come here at any time, probably. But still following the progression of things it's like whoa <laughs> anyway there's a whole lot a whole lot going on here i really i do like how how many sort of ideas this game brings up it's a lot more i think introspective and philosophical than origins was in some ways but um anyway i love them both so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next one